welcome back to my channel. I know you can't see me right now and I'm probably going to end up doing a voiceover but just in case I have not filmed for about two years. This is an empties video to show you everything that I've used for the year of 2018. There's an asterisk there you guys because it doesn't actually show everything I've used just the stuff I remembered to keep the containers um, so I can show you the empty container so let's begin. I purchased I think four of these in total. I still have two of the empty containers and I love this body scrub. It smells amazing, it feels amazing, it warms up your body. Um, the only thing is that I can't seem to find it anywhere so I'm not sure if they have discontinued it or what's going on. But if you guys know where it is, let me know below please because I'd love to buy more. This is fantastic. They make other body scrubs but this one is my absolute favorite. It's the Ginger Sugar Body Scrub by C. Booth. And what else? I went through a gazillion of these. I don't know if you know this, but I like to use just plain moisturizer for my face. And this is what my dermatologist recommended. I've gone through several of these containers and I love them. This is the probably the best moisturizer that I've used. Um, I always recommend using an SPF. I think it's important to take good care of your skin and protect it from the sun. So, I have several backups of these and I have the two that are open right now on my desk. What else we got here? Oh yeah, I forgot about this little episode. I think I have another one of these somewhere, but I was trying to test out toners this year and see if there were any that I might like. I tried the Clinique Clarifying Lotion number two, number three, and I believe I also tried the number one. Um, of these two, I think it was number two that I liked more than number three. I have oily to combination skin, so if that helps, I liked number two. What else? I gave this stuff a try. It was the Bare Minerals Skin Longevity Vital Power Infusion. I think it's supposed to be vitamins for your face. I didn't like it and I didn't hate it. It just it didn't really do anything for me, so take with that what you will. Again, I have um oily combination skin. I mean I used the whole bottle, but I definitely won't be repurchasing because I didn't really see a difference. Here's one of my absolute favorites from Ulla Henriksen. It's the Truth Serum. This stuff is amazing. It's a vitamin C serum. Um, for those of you that follow Dr. Dre, Dr. D-R-A-Y, she says that the problem with vitamin C is that it's not always easy to stabilize, so you don't necessarily get the potency that you're looking for. Um, but for myself personally, I've received like a lot of compliments after using this particular vitamin C serum for a week or more. It just seems to clear out my skin and make it look a lot brighter. And um, I really do recommend it. I love it. I think that this is maybe the larger size, the second to larger size, I can't remember. But they do sell it at Sephora, so you can pick it up there. Or you can pick it up on the Ulla Henriksen website. Um, this year I bought a lot of stuff from The Ordinary, like a lot. <laughs> so I know I have a few more bottles around here somewhere floating around. Um, there are a few items that I bought from The Ordinary that I really liked. And there's a few that I just didn't really see any kind of difference. So for the vitamin C suspension and silicone, definitely has a silicone feel to it, um, but it's not that bad. It doesn't have that, that super slippery sort of, you know, weird silicone feel. It actually felt pretty good, but, but this stuff will sting. Oh my goodness, this stuff stings. So if you're thinking about using it, please you know, use with caution. Do a little um, test on your face or on your arm just to see first how you feel um, because believe me it stings. Likewise, this was not that much better. This container is actually still pretty full. I did not use it all the way because like I said, I think I was just too sensitive to it even though I went from the 30% over there to the 23%. I just feel like that it was too much. And then on top of that, the 23% has the um, higher lauronic acid spheres and they just feel kind of weird on your face. They feel sort of gritty. So 
I will not be repurchasing either one of those. The niacinamide 10% and zinc 1% was okay, but I just didn't really see any difference or any change in my skin. Um, so I can't say it was good or it was bad. It just, I didn't see a difference. So I'm not going to repurchase that. Likewise, the glycolic acid 7% toning solution with a pH of 3.6. Definitely will not be repurchasing that. My skin was too sensitive for this. Um, I thought it would be okay because it was only a 7% solution, but it wasn't. I broke out trying to use this multiple times, you know, over the winter, summer, spring, it just didn't work out for me. So as you can see, I didn't even use it all the way. For the Boots number 7, Protect and Perfect, both versions, the Beautiful Skin one and the Advanced, I went through several bottles of this. Um, I think if I had to average it out, I believe I went through about one bottle every other month, so about six of these, and I still have a few backups that are in my drawer right now. This is the one that I really like a lot. This one's okay, but this is the one I like. I really feel like I saw a difference in my skin, and I felt like my skin looked really healthy and uh, radiant. So I definitely recommend this for anyone that wants to give a serum a try, especially one that's affordable. You can buy this over at Walgreens. You can get it at Ulta. Um, and it's pretty good for my skin, which is relatively sensitive. All right, what else we got here? Oh, I tried this stuff out just to see. It's the one that has the clay on the bottom. You're supposed to shake it up. It's okay. Like I said, I was looking for toners this year. I felt like I was on a mission. It wasn't great. It wasn't bad. I just didn't feel like it was... I didn't really feel like it was doing much. It, it dries your skin out just a little bit. So if you have oily combination skin, then I suggest skipping any area on your face that may be dry or prone to dryness because this, this likely will dry it out. The Embryolise Le Creme, I, or Le Creme uh, Concentré. I purchased this when I went to IMATS in Vancouver, which was like three or four years ago, somewhere in there. Love this stuff. It's amazing. I have the regular version of it. It comes in like a blue and white bottle. Um, this stuff is very moisturizing. I highly recommend it for winter, for sure. And I have this one. I told you I was on a hunt for a toner. So the woman at Ulta had recommended I try the Exuviance moisture balance toner because my skin was really becoming dry this year. Um, I was diagnosed with Graves disease this year so that explains why my skin was getting dry. And so I tried this out and I actually liked it. I thought it was pretty good. Um, I don't know if I'll repurchase this only because I feel like maybe I can find a comparable toner for a price point that's a little bit lower than this one. This was in the $20 range and I just feel like for what you get it's pretty good, but they could do a little bit better. I think if they charged about 15 or 18 bucks, then I would buy this again. Laneige. I have a ton of Laneige. I totally recommend the entire line. If you haven't tried it, you really need to. They're amazing. It's a K-Beauty brand. And um, this happens to be the Water Bank Essence. And it's kind of like a moisturizer. I have another bottle here. This is the empty of the first one. And I'm about probably halfway through this one. And I really like this product a lot. It's not sticky. It's um, moisturizing but very light. And if you're looking for kind of an in-between step in your you know, morning or evening beauty routine, I, I highly recommend this. For Clinique, I went ahead and tried this out. The woman at Macy's, I think it was Macy's and Nordstrom, convinced me to try it. It's the Clinique Custom Repair Serum. I was going into this whole serum thing towards the um, spring. And I did use the entire bottle, but I will not be repurchasing it. I just felt like it was a little bit harsh for my skin. Um, she said it should be good for sensitive skin, but I felt like it was... Um, wasn't that great. I did find that when I first started using this product, I was breaking out a little. So 
Um, the breakouts kind of cleared up after a while, but ultimately I really didn't see any kind of change in the texture or tone of my skin. So no, I'm not going to repurchase that. I have gone through a couple different moisturizers this year just to try something new besides my typical CeraVe. And I tried a oldie but a goodie and decided I did not like it. I don't know if they changed the formula, I don't know what happened, but I, I don't like this formula at all. There was a very strong fragrance that came with it and I just felt like it left more of a um, like a greasy sort of layer on top of my skin. Not even greasy, just kind of, you could feel that there was something there, it left it a little bit tacky, so no. I would not recommend this and I certainly won't be repurchasing it. I think I ended up throwing the bottle away and I didn't even finish it. And then as far as this one is concerned, um, I love this moisturizer. I think it's fantastic. Um, I definitely will repurchase again. I have a couple of backups right now in my drawer. I think this is really good for summer and for spring, like when it begins to get warm outside and you still need a moisturizer but something that's a little bit lighter, then I feel like this is a, a good alternative for you. Um, I don't think that this is better than the CeraVe, and the CeraVe is a, you know, drugstore brand, but it's definitely dermatologist recommended. However, I do feel like it's a good, um, it's a good moisturizer. You just need to make sure that you have some kind of SPF that you combine with this. Oops, we hear dropping stuff, you guys. Alright, so this is the... Bosha Exfoliating Peel Gel and this gel at first, okay so first of all this is not my first box, I think this is my second or third box and the thing is um, it comes in a container, it's in my bathroom right now, I'm not going to go get it but it's just like the other Bosha containers, you know you've seen those before, it's about this tall and it has a little pump that comes with it um, as far as this exfoliating peel gel is concerned, I the first time I tried it, I thought it really wasn't doing anything. So I thought, okay, I'm not going to buy this anymore. But then I gave it a second try, and I realized that you just have to use it consistently. It's a physical and chemical exfoli exfoliating treatment. And um, it really does work. It has fruit um, alpha hydroxy acid, which is where the peeling comes from. And it's not too harsh on my skin. It's actually, uh, it's pretty easy to use. I haven't had any breakouts or any kind of reactions to it. So if you're looking for a gel exfoliator, then I suggest this one. You can pick it up over at Sephora. And my Dolce & Gabbana The One Perfume. I went through another bottle of this. <laughs> And I have another bottle that's sitting on my um, desk right now. I love this perfume so much. It smells amazing. Another empty container of the CeraVe. Which I have a bunch of those. I really don't know why I'm saving all those. Um, I also repurchased another couple of bottles of the... Sesh Feet Dry Fast Top Coat. I love this top coat. It's my absolute favorite. I recommend that you try it. If you have not tried it yet, you will not be disappointed. I still have a lot of stuff over here, you guys. So, this year I um, was using a lot of rosehip seed oil, and the brand that I decided I really like is uh, Life Flow. You can get this at any kind of health food store or even at like PCC or Whole Foods if you're here in Seattle. bought this, hated it. There was something about the formula where there was like, I don't know, kind of, this. it was very gritty. I'm not sure if I have a, received a bottle that was no good, or maybe it had been in the sun or heat and cold or whatever, but when I used it, I, I couldn't stand it. So, no, I don't recommend this at all. I started using the different gel now that they sell it over at Target and I do like it. It's not too um, 
it's not too much for my skin it's my skin didn't really have an adverse reaction to it but they do tell you that you should be using it only at night and I don't believe you're supposed to use this every day so I would read the container and maybe even consult with your um, dermatologist to make sure if this is the right product for your skin speaking of skin one of my favorite skincare companies from Iceland literally it's called skin this is the Hydro Cooling Firming Eye Gel. Um, I have a whole package of these and I love them. They're fantastic. I bought several this year. Here we have again the Boots number no. 7 except this time it's the Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum Boost Sheet Mask. I love this sheet mask. I have at least two or three more that are sitting on my desk right now waiting for me to use. I will continue to repurchase these. You can purchase these over at Walgreens, um, Target, and probably any other pharmacy that's uh, near you. The Shiseido cotton pads. I did not save all of these containers. I use these every single day. So I went through several packages. Um, the package that I buy, I think it has like 180 cotton squares or something like that in there. Um, yes, I know it's it's $9.99. It is expensive for some cotton pads, but but they are incredible. They're very high quality. Um, I can't recommend them enough. They make a great gift if uh, you have someone in your life that's you know into skincare. They can use it. It's I mean it's really just a high quality product. I I love these cotton pads. They're amazing. Um, these are the Costco Daily Facial Towelettes. You can use them to take off your makeup. Um, you get a gigantic box of these things. I don't know how many wipes are in there. Probably like 200 or something. Um, and I think it's only like, I know it's under 20 bucks for a gigantic box. And I've gone through two of these boxes. I also have given a full um, box as a gift before and I love these wipes they do not sting your eyes or anything like that they take off all of the makeup and um, I will continue to buy these what else we got oh yeah okay so I was using a new shampoo and conditioner this year to try out this is the L'Oreal ever cream sulfate free moisture care system um, the deep conditioner and the deep shampoo, they were they were okay. I like them, but they weren't fantastic. Um, I don't think they're, for example, as good as Alafia. So if you know that brand, then you'll kind of have an idea of what I'm talking about. However, the scent was divine. I think they smelled amazing. I love these things, and I, I squeezed them down to the very last drop. So if you're looking for a new shampoo and conditioner and you have very dry hair, then you may want to consider taking a look at these. Um, this is the Cetaphil Intense Moisture for Long Lasting Hydration Lotion. It's the moisturizing cream. And if you have eczema or you have dry and sensitive skin, then I totally recommend this. Um, you can buy the package at Costco. It has like the big, the big gigantic tub and then this little tub that goes with it for like, I think it's 16, 17 bucks and it lasts you for a while. I love this stuff. I use it on my son who has very dry skin and I totally recommend this. Um, if you don't know this about me, NARS is my favorite, favorite makeup brand for foundations and uh, tinted moisturizer and anything that's going to cover my entire face. I love NARS. I've used the, which one is this one? The Velvet Matte Skin Tint, the Radiance one, the non-radiant one, I mean, whatever. I recommend NARS for foundation for anyone, especially people with sensitive skin. I think they make a beautiful product. It has a beautiful finish and the color range is perfect, especially for somebody that's brown like me. This is my favorite mascara. It comes from Urban Decay. It's the Perversion Mascara. This is the, um, I think this is the travel size right here. I believe so. Anyways, I, I recommend this mascara. I feel like it's very volumizing, doesn't irritate the eyes, and it doesn't cake up. It's perfect. I purchased the little roller ball of the La Vie Belle by Lancome, and 
I like the scent, but it didn't last very long, so I decided not to buy the big container. This is the Chlorine um, Eau Floral de Maquillante. Um, it's the flower water makeup remover, and I love this stuff. I think it's amazing. It's blue, so when you purchase it and you put it on your little cotton pad thing, it's going to come out blue. It's really gentle. Um, it definitely removes makeup, although I don't believe that it removes um, waterproof makeup, so keep that in mind. But for your everyday makeup, um, I think this is a really fantastic alternative to kind of the typical makeup removers, such as uh, this one, the micellar water, or any other kind of makeup remover. This stuff is great. Speaking of which, I really enjoyed this particular micellar cleansing water. I thought it was fantastic for removing my makeup. I know they had that little scandal where there was some kind of um, mold or some kind of foreign object within their uh, processing that tainted some of these, but the one that I had was great. I ended up buying the uh, regular size bottle. Any of you guys use the Freeman's masks? This one is really fantastic. The Sparkling Pear Pore Cleansing Mask. I love this. Um, it was pretty gentle. It was whipped clay. And I use this in the shower. And I could use this every day without having any kind of irritation. It's a really good mask. And it's very affordable. More perfume. This is the Commodity Mimosa. Um, this was purchased for me as a gift. I love this perfume. It smells amazing. It's very clean, um, very citrusy, but also very linen-like. I don't know if that helps. I'm not really good at describing scents, but I love this perfume, and I would recommend making the purchase of at least a small size to try it out. This is the, I think it's the old container for the MAC Brow Pencil. The color that I use is in Spiked, and now they have like a new, let me see if I can find that for you really quick. Now they have a new container, because the old container didn't have a spoolie, it was just like a thin pencil, and this is the new version of it, same color, but now it comes with two sides, it comes with a spoolie, and the new version is actually retractable, so you can take that out. And then when you're finished with it, you can retract it to save your pencil. And I thought that was a really fantastic addition. Um, whomever over at Mac is working on the development team did a great job on this pencil. Thanks, guys. Because I'm sure they did it for me, you, and everybody else that loves their products. Um, here's another one. I mean, I go through these pencils, you guys. I think if I had to add it up, I probably buy between five and six of these a year. And I think they're 20 bucks or something. But it's worth the price. Um, this is my favorite fan, uh, hand cream for the year, the Origins Plant Scription Anti-Aging Hand Cream. This stuff is divine. If you see this somewhere, go ahead and buy it. You will not be disappointed. Speaking of not disappointed, love this stuff. This is probably my fourth container, somewhere in there. It's the Clinique, uh, Clinique Take the Day Off Cleansing Balm. This is the one where you take a little tiny scoop and you work it around your face to kind of, um, it turns into kind of a creamy sort of, uh, it doesn't lather, but it's very creamy. And then you, it's like milky. And then you take it and you uh, wash your face and it really is a fantastic cleansing balm. I definitely recommend this. This is the Soap and Glory Vitamin C Facial Wash. I tried this little version of it and loved it, so I bought the bigger version, and then I didn't like the bigger version. Go figure. Bet that's happened to you before. And I went through a whole bunch of Urban Decay 24-7 Glide-On Eye Pencils, like a ton. I, I don't even have a way to describe all of them. This one was stash. I already have another stash that's open and one that's waiting to be opened. Um, this is the MAC Mineralized Concealer in NW40. Not my favorite. I feel like it's too red. But if you have a powder, you can kind of simmer it down a little bit. So you can give that a try. It's a good formula, but I think that the color range is lacking. 
this is what got me started on that chlorine the little tiny version of it I tried it loved it bought the big bottle um, this is the Tatcha polished classic rice enzyme powder it comes in like a little pot and there's a little thing at the top of it that you slide back and forth to pour the powder in your hand um, I liked it it was good I can see where they're going with this I think that it's a nice product um, it didn't break me out or anything like that but even though it's supposed to be an enzyme powder I really don't feel like it did more than that Bosha um, peeling gel did so that's why I did not decide to purchase the big version of this um, these are the first aid beauty facial radiance pads um, they're great they're fantastic but if you have sensitive skin beware I would not use these every day um, maybe every other day or every third day other than that I thought they were fantastic so I went ahead and bought the big size and this is what got me oh no this is the Clinique repair wear laser focus the wrinkle correcting eye cream it's a nice eye cream but it's not the best eye cream I think I ended up buying one from the pharmacy with an F that company pharmacy and it was that one was much better this is I right, you know but whatever it's it's Clinique so I expected a little bit more and I think that's why I was disappointed let's see we have the news Rob DeMio and this is the honey lip scrub the stuff was so nice I love this lip scrub it was so wonderful um it's not cheap you guys I think it was 20 bucks or something like that pretty sure it was 20 um, and it comes in a little pot and it was adorable and I used it and loved it but I did not repurchase it because I just felt like that price point for a lip scrub was a bit much Let's see. this is the pot that it came in and again I thought it was really nice but you know for this size it's kinda like come on you guys 20 bucks really Are we doing this and I tried a new mascara from Jordana just to see if I would like it. I prefer the one that has the purple lid on it. This was okay. I didn't like it as much as I like the purple one, so I'm not going to repurchase this one. I'll definitely repurchase the other one. And we have more brow pencils, like... You know, I just, I go through these, you guys, because I do my brows every single day. This is one from NYX, and I don't know what the color is because it's rubbed off by now. I think it's espresso. And this is another um, MAC one. This is the old one for MAC. That's the old version of it. And see how you can't even turn it back to retract it. So I'm glad that they changed their um, packaging, and I'm also glad that they added a spoolie. I thought that was really nice. I tried the L'Oreal Age Perfect Hydra Nutrition, I think it's an eye balm, B-A-L-M, um, did not like this stuff at all. It was very waxy and it left kind of a little pills or balled up kind of residue underneath my eyes. I don't know why it doesn't sink in, but I didn't much care for this. This is the Smashbox Photo Finish Foundation Primer Light. I tried it out. I figured I would like it because I'm obsessed with the other one and it was okay but I um, I definitely prefer the other primer, the photo finish primer, the original one that's clear. I'm looking for it right now and can't find it. I got it somewhere. This is okay. I love hand creams. This is one from Bath and Body Works. It's the sea spray. I thought it smelled amazing and it's made with shea butter. I wish it just was a little bit bigger, but I liked it. This is the A Cure eye cream. I think it came in an Ipsy bag and I tried it and used the whole thing. I loved it. I thought it was fantastic. Great eye cream. If you're looking for something that's at like a good price point, you can buy a cure, I think, over at Target. Yeah, Target. And this is the NARS Soft Matte Concealer. I'm trying to see if I still have one. That's the first one that I had. Um, pretty sure I have another one in here somewhere. Here it is. This is what the little pot looks like. And the color that I use is Amand for the concealers. 
um, across the board and then for the foundations across the board I use Macau in case you're interested. This is what it looks like. Um, I don't recommend applying this with your fingers. I recommend applying this with a brush because it's very, very matte. And even though it's um, kind of emollient to the touch, it's easier to work in with a brush. I know that Nas encourages uh, its patrons to use... I know that Nas encourages its patrons to use their fingers for its foundations and concealers, but in terms of using this one, I do recommend that you use a brush. How many do we have left? Oh, we only have a couple left, you guys. So, this is the Skin Fix Foaming Clay Cleanser. And this stuff is amazing. I love it. I believe the price point is just over $20 and you get 200 milliliters. Um, I would totally buy this again, but I would purchase this when it's on sale. I think it's a really high quality cleanser and I love it. But again, I feel like that price point is high. Ooh, it's high. More than $20 to wash something down the drain. Um, don't get it twisted. It's fantastic to use every day, but that price point though. Um, so I do recommend this for sure. If you have the coins to spend on it, go ahead and buy it today. Otherwise, I'd wait and see if it goes on sale at Ulta. Okay, we have a few to go. Here's another MAC pencil. You guys have already seen this. I purchased the Wet n Wild liners, the eyeliners. Let me see if I can find one. Hold on. Here we go. This is the one. So this is the felt tip liner. And I love this thing. It's very easy to use. And the color is long lasting. I think that it's really beautiful. If you really want to keep it from um, transferring, especially if you have a hooded lid, you can just go over it with a little bit of uh, translucent powder to set it. And I think it's a great liner. I believe I only paid a dollar for this. So, Wet n Wild, you know, if you haven't checked them out, please do. They are a steal and they're actually a high quality brand for the price point. We have the Tarte Shape Tape. So at first, when I bought this, let's show you what this one looks like. When I, the first time I bought this, I, I wasn't sure. I was on the fence about this stuff because I felt like it was really kind of red. Um, but after using it a couple of times, I realized if you blend it out and set it with the powder that'll counteract the red a little bit, then it's not that bad. Um, I think that the formula is fantastic. It goes on beautifully. It's really creamy. It's very easy to blend out if you have a beauty blender. And um, I like to put this on with a spatula and then I'll blend it out with a wet beauty blender. And I think it's a really lovely uh, concealer. And I do encourage you to try it out regardless of all the controversy that comes with the brand. This is a high quality product. Alright, last, last two items, last item, here we go. So I bought the Laura Mercier foundation primer. This is the one that is the, one of them I think is supposed to be moisturizing or something like that and one's not, this is the one that's not. It's okay, I tried it, decided that it wasn't quite right for my own skin, gave it to my mom. It's a very nice primer, so if you have skin that really is thirsty, and you want to make sure to hydrate it, I definitely recommend this uh, foundation primer. It's really nice. All right, last. I have the Vaystar um, phone holder, and that's what I'm filming on right now. It's on my phone, and I love this thing. I think it's fantastic. Um, it has kind of this giant vise that you can pop your phone into and then tighten it up just a little to hold it in place. It's a great little device, and I definitely recommend it. I bought mine on Amazon. Thank you so much, you guys, for watching. I hope that you have a very happy and healthy 2019. I wish you and your families all of the best, and I'm sending all of my love. Take care.